The import data doctor can sometimes help you fix imported geometry so that you can solidify it. And if you take a look at this model, I have an import feature in the model tree. And when I rotate it, you can see that there are clearly some issues here. So to access the import data doctor, you are going to right click on the import feature and then choose edit definition. And there is a little first aid kit in the dashboard. Click on that and that will take you into IDD. And over on the left hand side of the tree, or of the screen, you have the GTS tree, which is geometry and topology structure. And first off, I can see that I have this component plus an additional surface. And when I select it, it highlights. And I can see that there is some stipling going on. And so first off, let's try hiding the component. There I can see the individual surface. And let's reverse that. I'm gonna unhide the component and then hide the surface. And that just tells me right now I have two surfaces on top of each other. And so I can just right click on this extra surface and delete it. And it's no longer in my import feature. All right, let's take a look at some of the other issues. And I can see that I've got some different gaps in my model that uh, I need to fix. And one thing I like to do when I first get in there is just hit the repair button and see what IDD can do. But it didn't look like it fixed anything in here. And so there are two different ways of taking care of the gaps. You can manually create gaps or you can search for them. So First, I'm going to hit the Find button to search. And from the drop-down list in here, you have your regular filter objects, but you can choose Gap and pick them by size. And if I click Find now, it doesn't find anything, so I'll play around with the value over here. Let's try Find now. Okay, I found a couple of them. And if I even increase it some more, let's try a value of 0.1 and then Find now finds four of them and if I click on them I can see which ones they are and I'm just gonna choose to fix a couple of them uh, using this tool let's fix this one and yeah let's fix those two and so I will close this and then you click this wireframe button here I'll be honest I'm not too sure what that exactly does but you click the wireframe and then the repair button and hit the check mark and we can see that there's no longer a gap there or a gap over there uh, let's see for this other gap over here I'm going to show you how to manually create a gap and so I'll click on the gap button and we're going to pick side one of the gap either side doesn't really matter just trying to get it and then I can right mouse click and hold and activate the side two collector and pick this one over here then click OK and with the gap hit the repair button hit the check mark and it took care of that one now that surface doesn't exactly look great but at least there's no longer a gap in there okay now for over here I've got like a two-sided gap and this one in here I'm gonna use the move vertex tool and then just grab that vertex and drag it and once you get close it'll actually sense that hey you want to go in line of these vertices and it will fix that one for you and for this big hole in the model over on the right side of the ribbon you can see that we have some feature creation tools like you can create various datum features so that you can support using the boundary blend tool and the boundary blend in import data doctor works just like the boundary blend in standard mode and so i will pick my two curves for the first direction and then I can hold down the right mouse button and activate my second direction curves collector and let's pick these two using the control key and you have these little symbols on the boundaries and I could say hey I want it to be tangent there and tangent over there let's hit the check mark and my new surface is created you'll notice that this surface is sitting outside of the component just like the first surface was that I deleted. And we can select these two entities in the GTS tree, right mouse click, and I can choose merge, and then hit the check mark. And now they are one single node in here. 
So my model looks pretty good. Let's hit the check mark to finish out of import data doctor. And for the dashboard for the import feature, I can click on the button to say import this as a solid and hit the check mark. And the part actually changed color, which is a good sign. And to verify that it is solid, let me turn on my datum plane display and go to the view tab. I'm going to create a section using the front datum plane. And yep, yes indeed, this is solid now. So I have verified that I was able to use the import data doctor to take care of those flaws in order to be able to solidify my imported geometry. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.